All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about Troy Weaver and him speaking on his decision to draft Ivy and Durant. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 200 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. I'm close to 6,000 subscribers right now, so if you're new, I really would appreciate that subscription. Now let's get right into this. Okay, so I've said it all year. Troy Weaver, when it comes to the draft, is pretty good. So far, when you look at his previous years, in 2020, he grabbed Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, and Saban Lee. In 2021, he picked up Kay Cunningham, Luca Garza, Isaiah Livers, and Balsa Kopravica. And now in his third year here, he's picked up Duren, Ivy, and Gabriele. And I honestly think you know, in this year's draft in particular, this is the best possible scenario that you could have gotten. You have your guard now next to Kate Cunningham, who has all-star potential, while at the same time getting an 18-year-old who has massive upside and can become a dominant threat in the NBA. So I'm just stoked for the future. I can't wait to the summer league. I can't wait to preseason, and I'm ready to watch Pistons basketball. But without further ado, play the clip of Troy Weaver speaking on his whole draft process of why he decided to go with Ivy and Duran. First time I sat down, collect myself, but uh, no, um, I don't think we're done yet, but we'll see. Have you got what you wanted so far? So far, so good. <laughs> just as uh, Ivy, he was widely considered top four prospects, so to get him at five, just what does he bring to the Detroit? And what did you all see from him during the pre-job process? Um, you know, when you're trying to construct your team, you want to make sure you fill certain holes. And um, I mean, the guys, <clears throat> first of all, is a tremendous young man, uh, tremendous family background, um, strong Detroit roots. Um, obviously, you know, his grandfather was a Detroit Lion. Uh, his grandmother still lives here, has her a clothing store. Um, so it's a homecoming of sorts for him. But what he brings to the table is um, he's got electric speed. And he'll create opportunities um, offensively for us because of his speed. Uh, and he has um, the measurables to become a big time defender. So. Uh, his athletic gifts, uh, along with um, the tenacity he brings to the floor, uh, competitive spirit, uh, the things that um, attracted us to uh, to Jaden. Did you have an inkling um, that Sacramento might not take him, or was that you were as up in the air as anybody? Yeah, I, I, I had no idea. Like I said, you're the mercy of the board. Um, I mean. I don't think Paolo knew he was going to win. So uh, definitely um, we didn't know Sacramento was was taken. We were ready for whatever uh, happened. And uh, once it happened, things just really sped up. When you saw Sacramento take Tegan Murray, what was your first thought or exclamation or anything? Uh, I mean, we said, OK. One of our guys is on the board. Let's, let's, um, let's cash in. There was a lot of talk this week that a lot of teams are trying to trade up to four of the second round to get that guy. When they took Murray, did your phone blow up a little bit to teams looking to get? And what was what was the level of activity and level of interest? I guess. Yeah, I mean there was a lot of activity, um, but we settled in and we're excited. Uh, where we landed, but yeah, absolutely, a lot of activity. I mean, I've been in around this game a long time, and this tonight has been as action-packed as I've been around. <laughs> well, I know you can't speak on anything specifically, but coming into the night, was there any attributes that you were looking to acquire, athleticism, explosion, that the objective? Yes. Speed, athleticism, length, size. With yeah. his ties, did he try to ask him if he wanted to come here before the draft? Uh, and Jaden actually smiled and said yes. Did you 
get that feeling um, that he did want to come to Detroit? I did. I did. He, he was excited about uh, having an opportunity if we selected him. So I'm sure some other places he may have been excited about as well, but he was definitely excited about coming here. And how big of a difference does that make when you have a guy who wants to be here? Makes all the difference in the world. I mean, the players we've selected in the past have wanted to be here. And uh, it bodes well when, you know, it's a win-win on both sides. You want them and they want to be here. So, uh, you know, you're going to get uh, their best effort. 